We did put on a concert. That's why it feels like a concert. <laughs> We, it wasn't fake. It was, it was absolutely real. Vous connaissez le boucher, l'espèce de taré qui coupe des gens en petits morceaux. Les flics ont appris qu'il allait être là, ici, aujourd'hui. Ils ont monté un guet-apens. Tout ce concert là, c'est un piège. Would you say that the scariest parts of Trap might be that serial killers can also make excellent dads? <laughs> well, not not as that specific only, but that they are amongst us and they're doing a great job of convincing us they're the great neighbor that brings the potato salad to the barbecue and they're so loving and they've watched your dog and they're so dependable and they're convinced us of that you know they're the boyfriend they're the neighbor you know it's scary it's very scary to think that nothing your nervous system is not being triggered there's no tell of any kind they're they're just monsters je crois que vous me cherchez désolé les gars pardon <laughs> désolé comment ça va vous vous éclatez He has an instinct for the the colors of the movie that are fun and buoyant. You know, he, he naturally wants to be playful. And so that's all in the screenplay and he kind of embraced it and kind of pulled pulled that out of the script and made everything a little bit more funny and a little bit more buoyant. It was just where his instincts went. He can switch in an instant. In yeah, his eyes, he, in his face. Yeah, he, he's very un, un, unfiltered. He has no filter as a person, just as a human being, he has no filter. So if you say, hey, did you, did you like that meal? You see, you see everything on his face, there's nothing. Even if he said good, his face said something else. We, we did put on a concert. That's why it feels like a concert. <laughs> we, it wasn't fake, it was, it was absolutely real. Salika wrote an album, we, we, choreographed the whole album, we put costumes, we had themes, we had movement, we put everything on the screen, the colors, we shot it live, I directed the live cameras. We could put that concert on, it's, it's a real concert. And then I put film cameras up and I gave action to Josh and Ari and said, okay, let's do the scenes I wrote while this concert is going on. It was a, a, you know, a, a, a really fun premise to shoot the movie this way that a real concert was going on why we were doing the script and how many extras were on set i mean i couldn't count them they were just you know we had tons and we would just move them around but they, it was so lovely they brought such a lovely energy they were so excited because they every day were getting a new song and they were really you know involved in the in the music they all knew the music we gave it to them in advance so it was It was really organically that that the extras got a real concert, a month long concert, but they got it. I felt so much of the era story. You have the sequences where a young girl from the audience is picked to go near the stage. You have the light bracelets. Yes. You don't have the friendship bracelets, but still. <laughs> oh, Josh had uh, them on. Did... Josh had them on. <laughs> <laughs> did you get inspired by this or did you pick in some of your memories uh, of you as a dad going to concert with your uh, daughters? You know, it was a mixture of all those things, you know, the memories, but also kind of looking at some of Taylor's, you know, concerts she'd done recently, um, looking at Justin Bieber's concerts, these kind of icons and how they related to their audience. Because I find both of them kind of leaders in their relationship to their audience. That's so, so intense, the, the relationship. And how do they nurture it? How do they show respect and love to their audience members? And what are their tools that they make, it's how to make it immersive for the audience. So I did look at that cadence and see which ones would work. So some of it was from Taylor, some of it's from Adele. There's a, a net that falls down over the main character in, in Trap and she's singing in it and then projecting, they project that image on the nets around her. That's from an Adele concert. We got to see her before she became gigantic. She came to our hometown and sang and the kids got to meet her and she was 22 probably at the time, Adele, 23, that, that world. And um, it was just so lovely to see someone, at, you know, who was incandescent in, in their relationship to music and about to explode. Profitez de la fin du concert. <laughs>